Good morning. Thank you for being here, and thank you, Sages, for uh, inviting me to present. I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, using image uh, analysis and artificial intelligence to try to help during surgery. Here are my disclosures. I'm an engineer at Medtronic, by the way. So the ECRI Institute has deemed surgical stapling one of the top 10 technological hazards in the hospital. One way to mitigate this, according to the article, is to use the appropriate reload for the appropriate tissue thickness and tissue uh, that we're going to staple on. That can be difficult during laparoscopic surgery due to uh, difficult visualization and uh, limited uh, tactile feedback from laparoscopic instruments. With the uh, introduction of Medtronic's gastro sale, which is a lighted bougie uh, put into the esophagus, into the stomach, used to self-position, light itself so you always know where it is, and then size a sleeve, an idea came about that can we use light from inside the lumen passing through the stomach wall to then try to estimate what the thickness of that, that stomach wall is. A 10 patient uh, clinical study was initialized at Mamanui's Hospital to uh, look into this. So during uh, 10 patients underwent a sleeve. During the surgery, the, we took laparoscopic images of each LED light in the, uh, in the bougie through the uh, stomach wall and then marked those using a skin pen. After the surgery was done, the uh, remnant was taken out and measured using a spring-loaded caliper to try to, uh, to then measure the thickness of the stomach and try to correlate that to light parameters that we uh, established through image analysis. Some of those image analysis are the intensity of that light spot, the average intensity of the light for each LED, the amount of uh, the amount of brightness dissipated as we went away from the center of that spot, and things like geometric uh, parameters such as the light spot radius, circumference, and area. Now, unfortunately, looking at this data, we got what looks like a bunch of noise. As you can see on the right, we have um, the amount that the light uh, attenuated as we moved away from the center, and it just is all over the place, trying to measure that to tissue thickness. And then at the bottom, we have the half max, which again, most of the, uh, the parameters look like this. But we didn't stop there. We thought, maybe is there a way to combine these parameters to find a pattern that we're not seeing? And that brought us to use a neural network. What a neural network does is it's an artificial intelligence scheme loosely based off of neurons in the brain using uh, multiple connections to identify patterns the same by that same way. We use this to uh, use simple math over and over and over again to combine all these parameters, things like addition, multiplication, and, and an easy function going between one or negative one or one or zero. To, and then through that, we optimize those simple mathematics to try to find a pattern of our own. This, uh, in this instance, we use those light parameters that are, as our inputs. We combine them into different nodes or neurons, if you will, and optimize them to figure out what reload we should use for that stomach thickness. For our case, we used Medtronic's uh, tri-staple black and purple reload to try to, uh, to then classify um, those tissue thickness measurements. Now, neural networks are also used for things like uh, image recognition, facial recognition, uh, handwriting analysis can also be used to do more complicated things like uh, treatment strategies for patients or even try to predict the NCAA tournament. Our network consisted of 17 neurons and was trained on 60% of the data. So you have to train the network in order to optimize the network and then try to find a, a, a pattern that way, find a generalization that could be used on all of the data. Our results showed that our neural network was 83% accurate at trying to predict what reload to use based on the measurement taken from the stomach remnant. As you can see, we have all the cases there and all the measurements taken at certain certain spots of uh, certain spots on the stomach remnant. Uh, every each cell in uh, red indicates a one that the neural network got wrong, with the appropriate reload being the one labeled. Now what this does is kind of gives us uh, 
this is positive that we could take images from a laparoscope that seemingly had nothing, no pattern that we could fit, no linear, uh, linear regression, no monotonic regression, no higher order that we could fit to that equation and then establish a pattern based on things that we can't see ourselves. And in the future, this gives us what else can we measure with the laparoscope combined with uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning to actually you know, make intraoperative decisions or at least help with them. I'd like to thank uh, Image IQ for providing all the uh, image analysis for this study, and I'll take any questions. Thank you.